What's up guys? Today I'm gonna to show you how to fix the awful clicking on your blend door actuator in your Jeep. So in this video, I'll show you how to tear it apart, remove it, replace it, put it all back together. So let's get after it. Come on. So today I'm gonna to show you what I'm talking about. Usually it'll do it when it, the module wakes up just opening the door, but up under the dash, you'll hear this terrible clicking popping noise. Let me turn the key on, rotate it to hot, back to cold and you'll hear it. All right, that sound's coming from up in here, and what it is is the hot, cold blend door actuator's bad. More than likely one of the gears is stripped out of it or whatever, so today I'm gonna show you how to pull it apart and how to fix it. All right, guys, real quick before we get started on this job, I'm gonna show you some of the tools you're gonna need. I chose a quarter inch drive ratchet. You will need some extensions. So I didn't have a long enough quarter inch drive and I'll show you later on in the video. You gotta have one that's pretty long, but you can stick two of them together like that and it'll work just fine. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket. You're gonna need a eight millimeter socket. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver, possibly to pry up the that work, not sure on that yet. We'll know as we get started. And you're going to need a Phillips head. I got a long one and a short one, and that way, if it's tight, I'll be able to use it either way. But get yourself a magnetic tray or something to hold your bolts and screws. But that's pretty much all you gotta have. A eight, a 10, some extensions, a ratchet, Phillips head screwdriver for sure, possibly a flathead, and something to put your screws in. So there you go. Grab those and let's do it. Oh, and one more thing. You're going to need a light. Get yourself a light because you're definitely going to need that. Because it's dark and scary under there. Seriously, you will need a light because you can't see squat. So get a light. The first thing we got to do here is remove this plastic cover. It's got um, some snaps on it. It just folds down and drops out of the way. You can see where the snaps are here. It's uh, one of them actually is missing there, but it's got these little plastic things on it. You go in there and the hinge part slides down. So we'll set this over here out of the way. The next thing we're gonna have to do is remove these bolts here to remove this plate it looks like a 10 millimeter give you long enough bolts i don't want to go anywhere So it appears that there's some tabs here and this should just lift up and come right out. So let's we'll set that to the side. We don't need that. All right, we still can't get to it. So for the easiness sake, I'm going to take this bracket off here. It's a bolt behind it. And then one up in here. It looks like an eight millimeter. So let me get that off. So it is an eight millimeter. One 
thing I'll say about a Jeep. They give you plenty of threads on the bolt. It'll take it forever to rattle out. All right, so that one's out. I'll have to use the extension for the top one. All right, so that bolt's out. This should just pop right out. Set it off to the side. All right, looks like the, uh, maybe transmission control module or something's there with that white label on it. So I can get it in focus. That's gonna have to come out. And then we'll see what else is in the way. All right, so there's two bolts in here. One of them is right there on the top. And the other one is on a bracket. I get the camera. I'm gonna it all up in here. Let me show you. Right there is the other one. It's right behind my finger there. So we'll take those out. Those look like eight millimeters and that should allow this box to come over and we can get more access. So let's get that out of the way. All right, so I got that unplugged. As you can see, it's got two places where you depress the tabs and these long plugs just come out of there so there's one and there's the other plug now that gives me a little more access to up in here so right there is the blend door. So it looks like I'm gonna have to take this loose here, which is an air duct. And just to make it a little easier, I'm going to unplug this plug here, which goes to the accelerator pedal, get it out of the way. That way we can have a little bit more room in there. So the next thing is getting this air duct out of here. So it looks like it just unsnaps. All right, so all you gotta gotta do is just it's in here like the uh, should just kind of wiggle down and pull back and the whole thing unsnaps as one unit it's got these tabs in there which makes it pretty easy so that's for your floor air so that just pops off so now then we can finally see what we've been trying to get to And that is that right there, the blend door actuator. It's got a plug up here on the top. I'll need to unplug it and two Phillips screws and that should come out. I'm gonna take this one loose. We'll undo the power connection. Line to stay up in here be a whole lot better all right so now then i'm gonna try to reach in here get 
and plug a power connector. You just push in on that little tab and slide it right up. Then we got one more screw on the top side. So that's got that loose. Now then, let's see if I can get this out of here. Okay, it just pulls out. So no big deal. So that's out of there. So now then. I'll call Napa, have them deliver the new part, and we'll start the reinstall process. All right, so here is the new part, 655-1625, that Napa sent. That's supposed to be the same one. And always durability test it by dropping it on the floor and that way you can make sure that it works so let's start with looking at the plugs you always want to check any kind of aftermarket parts all right so the plugs look the same the bolt holes line up. So I think we're gonna be in good shape as you guys can see how this is made. It kind of skips a tooth. You can see it here. So let me see if I can set this up some way where you guys can see. I'm gonna try to remove that arm without breaking it. And they're pretty close to the same orientation. So that's good. All right. So I got that put back on there, the same orientation. So let's reinstall this back in there i'm gonna clean some of this gunk off of here first and uh we'll reinstall that back and and uh see how it goes all right so the first thing i'm gonna do is try to wiggle this back in here So I got it plugged back up, up here on the top side. Let me get my camera to focus. It's very hard to do one-handed. All right, so I got that plugged back in. I plugged my accelerator pedal back in. I plugged this module back in just so I can test it and we'll make sure that it works. So we'll turn the key on all the way hot. Okay. Now all the way back cold. Looks like somebody tried to spray something on that at one time because it was clicking and obviously that didn't help it because there was a parts failure. All the way back hot one more time. Now all the way back cold. Okay, so we know that's fixed. So popping and clicking. The next thing I'll do is put this ductwork back in here, reattach the module, 
put the bar back on that's running up and down with a two eight millimeter, which these are eight millimeter bolts too, by the way. Then I'll put the plate back on that's held on by two 10 millimeters and uh, the plastic cover. All right, so the module is bolted back in. You don't really have to worry about getting the plugs wrong because, let me see if the camera can even see what I'm looking at here. If you can see this plug, it's got two narrow grooves on it. The other plug's got two wider grooves on it. So there's really no way that you can screw that up unless you just absolutely try. Because you can see the two narrow grooves go on the front and the two wide grooves go on the back. So it's just a matter of plugging them back in and that part is complete. Confirm your ductwork snapped in there good. And you'll be good to go. Now it's time to put this bar back in there. And it's got a tab at the top that lines it up. two tabs right there and right there then they get the two 10 millimeter bolts right and last but not least you line these back up in your plastic and get the line up here for you these will line back up in there snap everything back together and that's how it's done guys Like always, thank y'all for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes in the description. And if you're not subscribed, you take your finger and you click that button. That's all you gotta do, just press the button. You guys have a great week. Go fix your Jeep. We'll catch you later. See ya.